When the film Jurassic Park first released, it was met with widespread critical praise and, importantly, made a lot of money. With a film that successful, there's obviously going to be an urge for movie studios to make sequels, and as a result, the film Jurassic Park did, in fact, receive two sequels. Both of these films are a lot worse than the original Jurassic Park for a lot of reasons, but the main one is just that they don't really seem to have a reason to exist. The original film works really well as a self-contained story with a strong thematic throughline. The whole film is about the hubris of the people creating the park and the decisions that led to everything going wrong, and it manages to satisfyingly explore those ideas while also just being a very enjoyable, thrilling film. The sequels aren't as engaging on like the level of characters and filmmaking and plot, but they also feel empty because they lack that thematic through line that cleanly ties everything together and makes it feel like a satisfying package. They mostly feel like they exist simply because the first film was successful and the studio is trying to make additional profit. However, in 2015, Universal Studios decided to reboot the Jurassic Park franchise with the film Jurassic World, which follows the same general plot structure of Jurassic Park, but is set in the future and has a few key differences. On a surface level, this isn't a particularly interesting film. It exists mainly as an inferior retelling of the original movie, trying to be more updated for modern audiences, but ultimately not really recapturing the magic of the original movie, and probably being the worst of all the Jurassic Park sequels released at that time. But the one thing that I do think makes it sort of stand out amongst the other Jurassic Park sequels is that instead of feeling like the film doesn't really have a purpose to exist, it seems almost the opposite. Not in the way that it like has a meaningful purpose to exist, but that all the thematic through lines of the movie seem to be pointing towards the thesis that the film Jurassic World should not have been made. The movie exists as an almost argument against its own existence, with many major plot lines and characters seeming to function as a way to make a point about the issues with rebooting the Jurassic Park franchise in this manner at all. In the universe of the movie, it is made clear that none of the characters involved learned anything from the failure of the original Jurassic Park, as it has now been rebuilt as Jurassic World, and is functioning as a hugely successful theme park. Within the film, the park is designed to look like a cynical repackaging of the ideas and imagery of the original Jurassic Park to appeal to as wide an audience as possible to create as much profit as possible. The thing is, this is also what the film is out of universe. It is a shameless recycling of the ideas of the original Jurassic Park designed to reach as broad an audience as possible to make as much money as possible. In the film, the park is filled with tons of wink-nudge brand deals, which the film seems to be poking fun at, but is also clearly profiting from as a commercial product first and foremost. The main threat of the film is a dinosaur called the Indominus Rex, which in the narrative of the movie was corporately designed in order to be a scarier and bigger version of the T-Rex because audiences care more about this artificial sense of spectacle than the real nature of the dinosaurs, and they're no longer satisfied with what they previously had. This idea that these corporate managers of the park are embracing this empty spectacle in order to appeal to audiences works in a way as a criticism of this idea, but also, again, can be applied to the film itself, which is also embracing this empty, artificial spectacle to win over audiences. The film almost feels like it's insulting the people watching it, accusing them of being as shallow as the audiences it's critiquing within the film. In an interview about the film, the director, Colin Trevorrow said that the Indominus Rex is meant to embody humanity's worst tendencies. We're surrounded by wonder and yet we want more and we want it bigger, faster, louder, and better. And in the world of the movie, the animal is designed around a series of corporate focused groups. The thing is, 
The dinosaur was also clearly, in real life, designed around a series of corporate focus groups. And its shameless recycling of the original film's plotline, while increasing the scope and the scale, and avoiding interesting and risky film choices in order to make a broadly appealing movie, the film is engaging in the exact kind of corporate excess it's attempting to criticize. And the line between what the film is attempting to satirize and what it is honestly engaging with becomes blurry to the point where you honestly cannot tell if the film is making fun of overt corporatization or just directly engaging with it. Since the release of Jurassic World, there have been two more movies serving as sequels to it, and those movies are both very bad. They share all the problems of the original Jurassic Park sequels and many, many more, but more than anything, and even more than Jurassic World itself, they fully embody this idea of corporate excess and trying to just wring as much profit as possible from an idea that should have been abandoned a long time ago. In a way, Jurassic World was trying to warn us about the path this movie franchise was on, but while doing so, it took many, many steps further down that path resulting in a film trying to criticize the very thing that it itself has become.